I remember when Steve Young came to San Francisco, uh, he had played against Reggie White in the, in the old USFL. And, uh, you know, we'd be looking at film, getting ready to play the Eagles. And he goes, Mike, I got to tell you about this guy. It didn't take me long to figure out if I'm game planning against that defense, I'll take my chances with everybody else. We had to double Reggie White every single snap. Otherwise, he could single-handedly take over the game. And last but certainly not least, the Minister of Defense, Reggie White. He earned 13 straight trips to the Pro Bowl and was voted the NFL's all-decade teams of the 80s and 90s and a Super Bowl champion with the Green Bay Packers. Reggie's coming again. Reggie White. Yeah. Reggie White's going to take over this game right now. Now watch right there. Boom! Reggie said there's a game to be won. I don't know how much gas I have left in this tank, but whatever it is, a I'm going to empty it out. A lot. <laughs> and he emptied it today. When I look at the best defensive player that ever played the game, I don't put myself number one. I'm looking at Reggie White as number one. And the one thing about Reggie, you know, he was a religious person, and I can understand it. And when he lined up against you, everybody's praying, you praying that he don't hurt you, <laughs> and he praying that he don't hurt you. So I mean, <laughs> everybody's praying. Everybody praying. <laughs> everybody praying. Have you ever seen anything like his hump move? No. Just, Have you uh, ever seen anything like that? You take a 310-pound yeah. man, and you do this, and lift both feet. Off the ground. Off the ground. Off the both ground. Both of them. And there's Reggie White. White. And that's that hump move. That's the one he learned from Howie Long. Here's the hump. You go up the field, get the right arm in, get him moving that way, and then go inside him. He just goes back and just boom. I don't think people really realize how big Reggie was. Oh. So when Reggie got up under you, I never forget my son was watching the Super Bowl and Reggie put his hand and was pushing the guy with one hand. I'm like, he was like, how is he doing that? I was like, you don't realize. Because he's pushing with one hand because yeah. he's doing this with the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not messing with you. <laughs> No, oh, Reggie yeah. was Reggie uh, was so dominant, man. In eight seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles, Reggie White played in 121 games and recorded 124 sacks. You know, when I'm on the field, I want to do my best to intimidate the guy in front of me. And I want to do my best to have him intimidated before I play him. That means that this week I got to play a good enough game to where he'll look at it next week and say, oh man, you know, look what he did to him. After the 1992 season, White was a free agent. Mike Holmgren was preparing for his second year as the head coach in Green Bay, when he had an epiphany about the player known as the Minister of Defense. If I don't want to have to stop him, I'll have to sign him. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. You know, Reggie's very devout. He was a Baptist, ordained Baptist minister. So on a whim, I just phoned him up. And I left a message on his answering machine, Reggie, this is God. I want you to play in Green Bay. And then I hung up the phone. Fortunately, he has a great sense of humor and he, heard, he recognized it was my voice. And, and uh, he came to my office, he goes, in his voice, he goes, hey, Mike, that was pretty funny. That was good, so. Uh, we wound up signing them. And it, at the time, it was a huge signing bonus. And people thought, oh boy, they've really gone and done it. You know, it's too high. But you know what? He was worth every penny and more. His first year with me against Denver, I remember a Monday night game. We needed a sack desperately, and he sacked John Elway. Two sacks in a row right near the end of the game to allow us to win the game. He was special, and he made Sean Jones special. He made Santana Dotson special, Gilbert Brown special. All those big guys that played up front, someone was gonna be singled up because you had Reggie White on your side. We had Favre on the offense, leading the offense, but Reggie was the guy that kind of put it all together for us and, and allowed us to get to the Super Bowl. 
seizing the stage just as he had against John Elway on Monday night, Reggie White recorded two of his Super Bowl record three sacks on consecutive plays in the second half to help secure a Packer win. After the game, you win the game, and everyone, you're in a kind of a fog, really. But he grabbed that trophy and ran around. He knew exactly how he wanted to celebrate. It was a beautiful thing to see. You know, Reggie, he was a special player. One of the greatest players of all time.